Hey guys, we are here, and you are probably expecting since it's Monday this to be a Mickey's Minute. Although you probably read the title, and <laughs> the title doesn't say Mickey Minute, but no, you're not yes. wrong. Mickey Minutes. Um, yeah, it's Mickey Less Than a Minute this week. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, oh so the whole gosh. deal is... Okay, while well, she's shocked by my no joke. okay listen so we reviewed the news for this week and there wasn't a lot of stuff there so was less news than last week and yeah. last week there wasn't much news so we our goal is to bring you guys quality stuff and we really thought that this week it would be best if we did this you're covering your face oh your sorry. beautiful face oh thanks <laughs> you're welcome so i personally for me i just think it's better if we did something different yeah, i agree completely yeah we yeah we, we don't want to bore you or waste your time um we do uh, we're fully understanding, even though some of our videos are longer, we apologize for that, but we do know that you value your time, and the fact that you're taking the time to watch our video, we appreciate. So we thought we would rather give you something entertaining, something informative. Yeah. This week just doesn't happen to be in Mickey News. So with that being said, let's roll out the name of what we're doing. Today we will be helping you kick the Disney Depression <laughs> slash blues. Yeah, so before we get into actually what what, what are the ways we um, kick the blues and depression are, um, I just want to quickly explain, for those of you who do not go to Disney or haven't been in a very long time or don't really care why you're watching the video, I don't know at that point, but the Disney depression is a truly, truly real thing. You can go in Urban Dictionary and I believe that if you type in Disney depression, if it's not Disney Depression, Disney Blues, one of the two will come up and will actually explain what it is, which is essentially when you leave the parks, you feel sad. I'm not kidding you. And, you know, it's totally a real thing. So, yeah, clearly, you know, we've learned um, from coming home from the parks that it sucks, <laughs> to be honest with you. Not only does the drive home horrible, but... You know, in the weeks after, you're just kind of like, I need to have that same feeling I had. So we thought we would compile a list of six different subjects mm -hmm. on things we do to kick the blues. And we're going to kick off first with books. So, uh, yeah, long story short, when I do have free time, I do like to kind of read about the history of the parks, history of Walt Disney. I really like history in general. Um, but one of the main reasons I got into Disney was the parks, and I like actually... A lot about the history. So with that being said, we have some books that I set aside here. If I can get them all up, there's so many here. And I have many, many more that I don't have here. So yes, here, here's some books. Really quickly, I would love to give a review, but I have not fully read through uh, this one, which is called How to Be Like Walt, which is by Pat Williams. It's supposed to be fantastic. I can't wait to get around to it. Um, Pat Williams was the, or is, I think, still the owner of the Orlando Magic, but not only do you get some history, uh, back history on Walt, but you also learn how to be like Walt. And I guess there's some good sage advice in there. Um, I'll let you talk about this one. Because I like loot. Yeah. <laughs> it's 102 ways for to save money at Disney World. For and at Disney World. Yes. Yeah, by Lou Mangiello, who we'll talk about a little bit more. But uh, yeah, if you're planning a trip, this is a handy one, which I have read mostly through. I do need to finish that off, though. It's a really, really quick read. But uh, yeah, even for people who are savvy, go to Disney all the time people, there is definitely still something. One of the, one of the 102 ways you'll learn something in there. I guarantee it. Um, I'll just show this one. I don't need to show all of them, but uh, yeah, this one is called The Revised Vault of Walt. There are four but, of these. Yeah, I think there may be a fifth one out too, but oh, we have four we'll of them. They're all by Jim Corcus. These are awesome. They're all untold stories that most people don't know, or, or if they, you know, yeah, long story short, they're awesome. And they talk about they have Parks, Walt himself, um, History of the Studios, all that kind of jazz. And then we have... The Walt Bibles. Yeah, these are the two uh, biographies that most people read by Walt. Neil Gabler's is a gi gi gigantic one. And then we also have Bob Thomas, which I think this one was actually okayed by Disney, Walt Disney, um, the company. So that one may be a little more, I guess I want to say, uh, fine, fine combed with a... With a fine tooth comb? Fine tooth comb, yeah, that. <laughs> they went through with a fine tooth comb. 
Yep, so yeah, long story short, those are some awesome books that we recommend. We have a ton more, but I don't want to waste all your time. So with that being said, let's talk about one of the more vital ones that are on our list, which is podcast. We are huge podcast fans, uh-huh. so which is the one that you like? The Qcast. The Qcast. But it's on hiatus, but you can still find it on iTunes. Yeah, they still have, what is it, 20 to 30 Yeah, they have 20 so. episodes. Yeah, they're They're, well they're going to come back, but they're just taking a break right They're now. well produced. Um, yeah, Ryan yeah. Monette does a really good job. Hey, if you are looking for a podcast job, you should ask him because I want it to come back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he needs a co-host. Yeah. <laughs> um, the main one that I like listening to, that Christina will listen to as well, is uh, Magic Our Way, which is four guys out of New Orleans who are hilarious but they're also a little edgy for Disney. Not for little kids. Not for little kids. No, if you're a parent Teenager, and you want to listen maybe. to something in the car with, yeah, a six-year-old, probably shouldn't listen to them. <laughs> but yeah, if you're a teenager, they're totally worthless. You know, they, they, it's not that edgy. But uh, yeah, it is, it is guy humor, um, but they're, they're awesome. I like their format, and they're just funny guys. Um, I really, really appreciate what they do. And then the one that Christina and I absolutely listen together would be the godfather himself, Lou Mangello with... W W W Radio, your information station. He always gets it wrong. Hello, everybody. I'm Lou Mangello, and this is episode 435. (laughs) Yeah, he's awesome. I hope you're having a great day, (laughs) or whatever. (laughs) Yep. Yeah, he's the mega fan. Like, he's the guy who started podcast. Him and I forgot the name of the other one is, but they've all kind of moved. The originals have moved on. The podcast still loves on, but yes. Yeah, Lou Mangello is. Pretty much the godfather of like Disney fandom. He's so cool. On Wednesday, every Wednesday, he has a live chat, and I told him that we bought his book, and he was like, he like looks through them, and he was like, "Hey, Christina, thanks so much for buying my book." <laughs> Christina's quite the fan girl. Yeah, I like him a lot. <laughs> yeah, so he is probably if you are new to podcasting and you want to listen to Disney stuff, I would be that would be the one I would suggest. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that takes kind of care of podcasting. Number three. What? Disney apparel and your swag, <laughs> <laughs> as the hip kids call it. Yep, your swag. Yeah, so clearly that's pretty normal. Uh, pretty much a self. It is, but no-brainer. I mean, I'm sorry. like, that's what I'm looking for. you have so this doesn't just qualify as like Disney T-shirts and stuff. It's like merchandise from parks and things like that. Things like posters and yeah, ears yeah. and bows and mugs. Just, Lots of mugs. <laughs> Trying to surround ourselves with Disney, like yeah. when you're in the parks. I get yeah. it. Yeah. So number four is something that we do on and off every once in a while, but uh, it is kind of fun. Um, typically, we do them actually more for our videos here, um, but is food slash cooking. Yeah, I think we've made something outside of our videos, though. I think um, we've done like we've all we've done a series of videos, but I, think I will we- link. To the Dole Whip. Yeah, I think we've tried other things. To the like Disney Burger. I, yeah, we tried. We had to like, the gray stuff. We had like a. I think we tried to make a Disney pretzel. Like, like we had pretzel mix or something, and we tried to do oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't work out, but. Oh, because I forgot something. No, they didn't put it in the package. Oh they, yeah, that's true. But we so we do that kind of stuff to like, get ourselves. Yeah, yeah, it kind of and, just reminds us. Yeah, of, of yeah. Being at Disney. Um, oh yeah, and also the mom's meatloaf. We'll link in one of these. All those little eyes that you're seeing in the corner if you're on a cup. Uh, uh, actually, I think those are on the cell phones as well, aren't they? I need the cards, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, most people who... <laughs> but if you don't make YouTube videos, you probably don't know what a card is. But the little eye in the corner, that, that has It'll links tell to the you. other ones. Yeah, so moving on to the next one. Um, yeah, we're kind of guilty of this, is Disney shopping. Yeah, we go to the Disney outlets, like, all the time. Which, I have never been to the Character Warehouse, and I really want to go. Yeah, we're going to be doing that when we go down to Orlando. Yeah, because I really like getting Disney stuff for a good deal. Yep. <laughs> but we are very, very fortunate, because they're very rare, I think. But we have a Disney um, outlet Um, we got store. our nice chalkboard and a couple mugs. We get everything. And we've there. gotten calendars and stuff there. It's, right. So, it's cool because, like, it's kind of like a character warehouse where they bring in, like, stuff from Disneyland and stuff from Yeah, we get stuff, stuff from Disney. Yeah, Disney. I mean, it's mostly, mostly Disneyland, Disneyland, though. Mostly Disneyland, though. Which is weird that they're taking stuff all the way from California I wonder if they, like, out in California, if they get stuff from Disney World. I was one of the same thing. <laughs> yeah, just, just in the West in general. It's weird that, yeah. But it's cool. Like, I got a cool Snow White tote. Um, I've gotten a lot of cell phone we, cases We've and got stuff a lot there. of stuff from there, yeah. Yeah, Haunted yep. Mansioneers. Yeah. So, um... 
Yeah, that's that's pretty much it for Disney yeah. store shopping, I think. Yeah, and the final one we have on our list is social media. Yeah, this is, like, a big thing. Yeah. Um, I think this is really what helps us the most, like, yeah. especially for us. Like, I know, like, I feel better, like, when I'm editing a picture or something to post on Instagram about Disney, like, I can remember the memories that come with that picture. Oh, absolutely, yes. Like, what, okay, so there's a picture that we have... What is it? So from the last time that we went, what is your favorite picture that of me? You know this one. What, the picture of you drawing it? Yeah. yeah the, uh, I forget what it's called now. The, Art of Man, it's not Art of Animation. It's One Man's Dream, and it's at the... It's not at, One Man's Dream. I mean, it's at the animation class that they show you how to yeah, draw. Yeah, I think it was like the Art of Animation. Mine? Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. Mine is... <laughs> Of you singing in the rain, which doesn't exist anymore either. Come on, man. What's up, Disney? You're just killing us with Disney. But those, like, those things, that have, social media definitely helps bring back memories. And we have a Facebook group called Disney's Facebook Kingdom where we're able to share like all this stuff and yeah. read about everything. And I think the biggest one for us has to be YouTube. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, so long story short, the whole reason this channel exists, as I've explained a long time ago, but maybe it's been a while, um, we have we do have a lot of new thank you subscribers. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Thanks guys. Um, but yeah, um, I would just want to go on YouTube and like just watch watch videos from around the park. So I would type in like you know Magic Kingdom Park yeah. video, and uh, I ran across the Tim Tracker who I we are, I really really like. Um, okay. I'm, I watch daily now. Uh, his daily vlogs. He lives in the Orlando area, and they go to the parks often. And you know I was just. I kept running across his videos constantly, mm -hmm. and I finally was like, hey, I should probably subscribe. Um, yeah, so I, I would just pour through all his park videos. We should also mention that Sorcerer Radio... I was going to add that in, yeah. That it, I didn't mean to jump the gun a little bit. No, but it's okay. That was... I think so, so, Sorcerer Radio does a really good job of, like infiltrating all the music from all the different parks and yeah, the nighttime shows and things like that. Yeah, and occasionally I think they stream podcasts, but it's an internet streaming radio channel. Yeah. And it's all <laughs> Disney related. All Disney all damn day. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Now I gotta bleep that out. <laughs> um, well, that's what I call it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so long story short, yeah, they have different, it's just like any radio station, they have certain hours dedicated to certain things. You know, yeah. I think on Saturdays and Sundays at 10 in the morning, they even have, like, a countdown. My favorite is when they play, like, Fantasmics, because I love that show. Yeah. And they recently started doing, like, I, is it still Wednesdays and Saturdays that they do the California stuff? I think so. I don't know. I'm yeah, don't know but... So what she's starting to explain, she's not explaining oh, very well. Is at 9 o'clock every night, yeah. they, from 9 until about 10, 10, 15, yeah. they literally play the nighttime... Spectacular, spectacular shows from, from, from each, each park. park. So, you, you know, I think the first up is Illuminations, and then you have Wishes. Celebrate the Magic, oh. and then you have Wishes, and then you have... Fantasmics? Yes. Yeah. They haven't done Animal yeah, Kingdom. Yeah, Fantasmics, right? yeah, because Animal Kingdom, yeah. So, yeah, that's really cool if we're not doing anything, which we usually are, but every once in a while we'll have I, it on it between then they, they started bringing in, like, Paint the Night and Fantasmics yeah. from California now, too. Yeah, so cool. long story short, if you guys want... You can download that app on your iPhone. I believe it's on Android. We have it on our Roku as well, so we can stream while we're cleaning up the house. Do you listen to Mouse Radio at all anymore? Um, or do you I do think more? I have an issue with them. Do you or do you do more of Mad, ha Mad ha Do you have Mad Hatter? Radio? I have it, but I didn't. I yeah. Uh, That's for the Magic Our Way podcast. Though. They're teamed up with them. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like a couple different like things. Yeah. That if you, you don't do. want to listen to Source but Radio, again, there are other online radios. It's all park music essentially. Yeah. But the biggest thing for us still is YouTube. Like, you just type it in and yeah. find whatever there. Yep. Like I mean, we make rides. Disney videos, so yeah, it's become a big part of our life yeah. and helping keep the magic going when we're not at the parks. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Those are some of the ways that we have found to kick the depression. Although, I'll be honest with you, I've never kicked it. How I, funny is it that we're talking about Disney Blues and we have blue shirts on? Oh, that's ironic. <laughs> you know, we're matching buddies. I didn't even realize that. So, uh, yeah, if Please, in the comments, let us know if you have any ways we haven't Disney. mentioned. Yeah. Yeah, we would love, uh, we're, you know, yeah, as people who constantly want to be in the parks and are not, <laughs> we could use any help we can get. But, yeah, those are, like, the six different topics that we came up with. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for viewing. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you're looking to, please, by all means, check out our other videos. And uh, 
Give us a like and a subscribe. We appreciate all the subscriptions we've been getting recently. Yeah. We had a boom with video uh, views recently, so uh, we appreciate that. And with that being said, we will see you guys soon. We'll see you guys real soon, pals. Pals. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching, and you can always find us at Porter's Take on DC and Disney now, right? Yep. And we'll see you real soon, pals. People want to say that love is just two ways.